not the way things planned. No, not at all. Um, what happened? Uh, they're a great team. Um, I, I don't want to use uh, being off two weeks, but uh, it's hard to bounce back off after uh, being away for two weeks, uh, especially around the holidays and stuff like that. Um, uh, they were sharper than us. We were getting our opportunities on offense. We just weren't bearing, and uh, they they were shooting them way better than us. They uh, Vino played well, and they were just shooting lights out. So um, just unfortunately, uh, they were the better team tonight. What went wrong in the uh, second quarter? Obviously, they outscore you six nothing. That's where really the game got away from you guys. Yeah, you know what? Um, like I said, our offense wasn't bearing the ball, and um, I can count on four opportunities that I remember that we had great opportunities, they made a save and it, or we missed the net and then they went back and scored right away. And that's a killer for our whole team. Uh, we weren't getting down on each other by any means, but those are, uh, those are tough to kind of bounce back from when you have a great opportunity, you don't score and they come back right away to score. It, it, it's tough. Did they do anything defensively to frustrate you guys, or was it simply um, you know, just not burying your shots? Just not burying our shots. I, I honestly could can look back and say our offense played well tonight. Um, besides not uh, scoring, we looked. Yeah, at times we looked a little bit rough. Um, two weeks off, like I said, isn't easy. Um, we we need to do things um, outside the floor time that we have together to get better. I feel like uh, like JT said, we weren't sharp tonight. Uh, maybe we weren't um, in shape, and maybe that's uh, the cause of our not sharpness. But at the end of the day we just need to be better as a team and luckily it's only the second game of this uh, season um, unfortunately we do have another bye week coming up but uh, l like we said we're, we're going to be better Dan you had a pretty good rivalry with that squad when it was Rochester yep now it's in Halifax and the cast is a little bit did it did it feel like old times at all or, or is it, is it <laughs> Almost a completely new team. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they did a great job of kind of rebuilding, but they do have their core group, and it kind of felt the same rivalry. Um, guys, we have a couple of new guys. Most most of our team's a little bit new, um, so it's a, uh, they don't know it yet, but uh, I think it's going to be chippy kind of throughout the season. And um, those are the games we need to win. At the end of the day, um, we need to win every game, but at the same time, those rivalry games that um, are in our division, we, we need to get a hold of. But again, it's, a, it's only a second game of the uh, year. We, we shouldn't hit the panic button. Unfortunately, we had some injuries in the off season, and we had some injuries um, this year. But um, once we get healthy, I, I think we'll be fine. And again, it's two games in, so uh, no need to hit the panic button. How much of a loss was it not having Priolo on the back end of the defense? Oh, he, he's the best defender, if not top two in the league. Uh, that's the biggest loss that we could ever have. Um, our, our defense did a great job, but um, losing a guy like that is is not good for our team. He's, a, he's, a, he's our leader. He's our captain. He leads by example, and he's definitely our best defender as well and the best defender in the league. So um, losing a guy like that, it, it definitely hurts us. But um, at the end of the day, um, they shot really well, and um, hopefully we have him back next game. Josh? Yeah, those ones are never fun. So uh, I've been on the opposite end of those, and it's a lot, it's a lot better. But when you're uh, on the losing end, it's tough, tough to swallow. Is it just a helpless feeling, especially in the second period when it seemed like every shot they were taking were, was going in, and you guys would get some chances and miss, and come right back the other way? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it comes down to who was really hitting their shots, and they kept banging them in. And for whatever reason, we were just a little bit off every time. Uh, we felt like we were getting pretty good chances, but. At the end of the day, we just weren't burying, so we got to be better. Do you think the layoff hurt at all? I mean, after two weeks, I think they played last week again. Yeah, it doesn't help. It does, doesn't help at all, right? But um, at the end of the day, there's still no excuses. We got to do a better job of coming prepared and doing our practicing on our own time and uh, and, and getting better and preparing ourselves for that because we know how those two week breaks can go. So that's uh, that's 100% on us. How much of a channel has it been in the two games with? The right side of the offense being, you know, shorthanded with Chase being out and the losses during the offseason. Has that, has that been a noticeable effect for you guys with, with being able to score goals? No, I mean, uh, Dallas Bridal and, and, and Quinn Palace have done an awesome job stepping up and uh, producing and banging bodies and really work, work, working hard. So um, I, don't, I don't think it's really has anything to do with that. Obviously, it'll be nice to get Chase back. Um, the kid's just so athletic, he's a freak. Um, but besides that, we're getting our chances, we're just not bearing on it at all. What, having Cloutier, you know, in, in good shape this year and with the team all season long, um, just how he's helped out on the left side this year. Man, uh, me and him had a real long summer of uh, just going to the gym every day and working out, eating healthy. Um, kudos to him, man. He really bought in this year, and as you can tell, you can definitely see it on the floor. So, um, super happy for him and proud of him for kind of stepping up and becoming one of our best point point getters. So, 
Well, that wasn't much fun for you, I'm sure. No. They never are, right? No, never. Those ones are tough, but uh, I mean, you see the resiliency at the end of the game. Uh, we could have just folded up shop and, and gave up, but uh, until the, the last buzzer goes, you fight no matter uh, which way the game's going. There's a real chippy one out there. Um, you know, were you guys anticipating that kind of game, or it's just, you know, once things got out of hand, um, you know? Uh, I don't think you ever go into a game looking for it to be chippy. I mean, lacrosse is obviously a rough sport. Um, they start to get ahead on us, and I think naturally it just starts to get a little chippy. But, um, I mean, whatever you have to do to, to get the team going and, and try and spark the team and, and get any kind of momentum, uh, you try to do whatever you can for your team. So. It's not an excuse, but three weeks between the game, especially now, it must be a little odd to play one game and then, as John said, you're practically back at training camp because it's so light between games. It, did it just take time? Feel a little funny just to get your legs going underneath. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you get you get excited for the first game of the year, and, and when you're back in Bandit Land and playing in front of the best uh, best fans in the league, and then you go on a two week break, and like you said, it's it's almost like going back into training camp, and you gotta still try and stay excited and, and get ready for the next game. But after the first week, you know, you got another week uh, off and, and a week of practices. But like you said, you can't take it as an excuse and. Um, it is what it is. Uh, we knew it was coming, and um, unfortunately, just didn't work out in our favor. Pirillo goes out with an injury. Obviously, one of the top defensemen in the league. How did it feel not having him on the floor? Yeah, I mean, Steve's obviously uh, our captain for a reason. He's an unbe unbelievable leader, uh, vocal leader on the floor. You can always rely on him, and and he's all over the floor. He's he's an animal out there. So um, we knew he wasn't going to be in tonight, and. Um, you just, it's the next man up mentality and, um, you know, uh, we've had Brownie up and playing offense a bit. Um, so there's some lineup shuffles kind of going around, but no matter who it is, whether they're in or out, it's the next, next man up mentality. You guys got some transition goals early to, to stay in the game. It really looked like that was going to be your way to win tonight, but it just didn't come your way there towards the end. Yeah, uh, going into the game, that was one of the uh, points of emphasis was uh, transition, pushing the ball, trying to get as many opportunities as we could going that way. Um, as a D uh, transition group, we know that we have to contribute and, and put three, four, maybe even five or six in a game, especially with um, some of the guys out on the offensive end that we've had out so far. So once those guys start to trickle back in the lineup and, and start to get healthy, hopefully they can bring a bit of a spark and, and at the uh, D transition end, we can continue to push and, and try and contribute that way. Perfect. Thanks, guys.